Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of the Raspberry Pi weather station. In this part I'm going to be showing you how to use a sense hat to read data from its surroundings such as humidity, temperature and pressure. Check out last week's video here if you haven't already to get an idea of what I'm showing you. But anyway, let's get on with the project. Diving straight into it, the first step is programming the Pi to tell us the temperature in the room around it. I have noticed, however, that the temperature sensor picks up heat from the components of the Raspberry Pi, so deduct about 11 degrees Celsius to get a more accurate reading. The first lines of code are exactly the same as from the previous video and just import the libraries and make the commands easier to type. So start by typing from sense underscore hat, import sense hat, and then underneath that type sense space equals sense hat bracket bracket. The next lines are where things get interesting, as we're going to be creating more variables. However, this time we're going to be assigning a command to a letter. To do this, type while true, which will keep the script looping forever, followed by t equals sense dot get underscore temperature bracket bracket. The next line we need, which I'm not quite sure what is for, is t equals round bracket t comma space one bracket. After that, add this line which will tell the Pi what to display in the message. And finally, the line that tells the Pi what order to display things in and what speed to scroll the text is this. Now press F5, save the code and let the fun begin. Ok, you know the temperature, but that's not enough for a weather station, so now I will show you how to display humidity and pressure, which isn't very complicated as you only have to add a few extra lines and words. The lines before this one here can stay the same, however after that you need to add the line p equals sense dot get underscore pressure bracket bracket, and then h equals sense dot get underscore humidity bracket bracket. The penultimate change is to add the lines p equals round bracket p comma one bracket and h equals round bracket h comma one bracket. Finally, add to line thirteen pressure equals bracket one bracket comma humidity equals bracket two bracket close speech mark, and after that replace dot format bracket t bracket with dot format bracket t comma p comma h bracket. Go ahead by saving and running the code. Interesting as it is having the text scrolling across the screen, wouldn't it be cool if the Pi could tell you if it was too hot or cold just by changing the colour on the screen? Well you guessed it, that's what I'm going to be doing next. What we're going to be doing is adding a comparison to say that if the temperature is lower than a set value then have the screen one colour and if it is above another set value then have the screen a different colour. The lines that need to be added are these and they set the values in colours. Once again, the RGB values can be changed to any colour. And that's it, you can now save and run the code. And there you go, you now have your very own weather station that can tell you the temperature, pressure and humidity of the area around you, as well as being able to say if your surroundings are desirable or not. That's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you have any project suggestions. I'll see you in my next video.